Hi, it's Coach Jim O'Connor from wellnessword.com, your trusted body transformation advisor, helping you look better, feel better, and to perform better. Now, the question I have for you today is, is keto better than Mediterranean diet for weight loss and diabetes prevention? Once again, is keto better than Mediterranean diet for weight loss and diabetes prevention? That's the question that we're gonna tackle in today's video, so pay close attention. Now, there was a study conducted in May of 31st, 2022. It was published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, and it compared the two dietary approaches. Now, before we get into the study, let's define exactly what keto is in the Mediterranean diet. Let's start with the Mediterranean diet first. The Mediterranean diet does not have the restrictions that keto has. Mediterranean diet is comprised of fruits, vegetables, legumes, grains, cheese, wine. They give you flexibility there. There's flexibility. The thing they do ask or limit is to decrease the meat in the particular diet. So in this particular study published from Stanford University, they kept the carbohydrates in that particular dietary regimen to 40% of the calories or less. That was for Mediterranean. Now let's go to keto. Now keto is completely different. There are extreme restrictions. They don't want you to eat carbohydrates. So 60 to 70% of your calories come from fat. So if there's no fruits, there's no grains, there's no legumes, there's no starchy vegetables, it's very restrictive. Now the question is, is how was the study conducted? So it was three 12 week phases where they divided the two groups and they had 33 participants in the group. 20 had prediabetes and 13 had diabetes and they tracked blood results from the study. Once again, there were three different phases of 12 weeks. The first 12 weeks, the groups were split and they uh, followed the dietary approach. One followed keto and one followed the Mediterranean diet and they were given uh, their foods. So the second 12 weeks, they rotated, they switched, they switched. So the one that was doing the keto did the Mediterranean. So they were kind of comparing themselves against themselves. In the third 12 weeks, they went off on their own and chose which dietary approach they preferred it to be on keto or Mediterranean. So the results, what are the results? The results are there was a decrease in blood sugar. That was the main result for both diets, decrease in blood sugar. That is great. So that's what we're looking for, right? So keto was a little bit lower than the Mediterranean. It was not significant. So let's talk about body weight now. Let's body weight on keto. They both lost weight. There were both weight loss for both. Ketogenic ended up losing in the first 12 weeks, it was about 15 pounds of weight loss versus the Mediterranean diet, 11 pounds of weight loss. So there was a decrease of about 300 calories a day consistently on these plants throughout all the, the 12 weeks. So 12, 36 weeks of the study. So both lost weight but a little bit better with keto in the first 12 weeks. However, is that going to last? That perhaps will not last because I do like the variety of, of the Mediterranean versus the restrictive keto approach. But if you wanna lose more weight in the first 12 weeks, perhaps keto is your choice. So what other blood markers? There were positive blood markers where the increases in HDL, uh, decrease in overall cholesterol, decrease in overall blood sugar, which is fantastic. This is what we're looking for. The negative was there was an increase in LDL from the keto diet of 10% while there was a 5% decrease in the Mediterranean diet. That's from eating a lot more animal protein in my opinion. So now the question is that it comes down to this, which diet is best for weight loss? Well, like I said, if you want the faster approach, 12 weeks is keto. And you can handle that restrictive type of approach. Not everybody can handle that. So that's something you need to understand. Hey, 15 pounds or 11 pounds to, or on my book, that doesn't mean that much considering what you're giving up. I would prefer the Mediterranean, you may be different. And that leads us to this. There is no one best diet. It depends upon the person. It depends upon if the person can stick to the diet, sustain to it, adhere to it. 
So it's an individual approach and that's why it's important to work with a coach to help you determine what approach is best for you. So once again, no one diet is the overall end all be all solution. So get that in your head and understand that right now. If you see any marketing material out there, push it aside because this is the truth. This is what science is and I'd like you to follow it. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Hey, click like, subscribe for more videos like this because I know I can help you. For taking the time to watch this video, I have a special surprise, special treat for you. It's 100% free, no charge. What you wanna do is click the link below this video and I'm gonna take you to my, a special page on my website at wellnessword.com. It's a report called Fat Loss Forever, the top seven ways to prime your brain into permanent fat loss. Yes, you can actually prime your brain and utilize your brain into losing weight and keeping it off forever. And I give you seven simple things you can do in a really great laid out report and it's all yours for free. All you need to do is click the link below in the video on this description box and I'll take you to the website and it's 100% free and it's yours. So I'm looking forward to empowering you even more. So once again, thank you for watching the video. Take care and have a great day.